Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Daria, if you're new, and today's practice is the last class of the month of May, which is Mental Health Awareness Month. And so in this class, we'll be finding our own personal inner sanctuary and then flowing from that place. It's kind of like finding an internal sense of okayness, like the calm in the storm that you can always come back to even when things externally are feeling really chaotic. It's something, a place that you can return to in moments of anxiety or extreme emotion of any kind as well. So all that you'll need is yourself and some place to move. And whenever you're ready, let's go ahead and get into it. So we'll just start today in a comfortable seat. I'm gonna start in Virasana and I'm gonna use the block for a little bit of support. So if you have a block and you'd like to join me, you can slide it between your heels and then rest your sitting bones down to the block so that you're just a little bit elevated. You can also find Sukhasana or any other comfortable spot that feels good for you. Let's flip the palms to face up or down on the thighs, soften the eyes. Start to let your shoulders travel down your back, elongate the sides of your neck and reach up through the crown of your head. Take a moment just to settle into your body, settle into your practice and try to drop anything that's happened in your day so far, anything that needs to happen later on but root into this present moment. Start to notice your sensations, your thought patterns. Notice the way that your thoughts are coming in and out today. Maybe they're really quick. Maybe your brain is feeling scattered and all over the place. Or maybe you're starting from a, a place that's a little more sluggish or tired or relaxed. Or maybe it's somewhere in between. Whatever it is, just notice. Start to let the thoughts flow by without becoming attached to any one thought. And let's begin also to connect with the breath. Start to feel breath traveling through your full torso so that when you breathe in, you can feel the tops of your lungs fill with air. And when you breathe out, you feel a cleansing release, a let go all the way to the bottom of the exhale. And let's all take an inhale together. Breathe in through your nose. Take a big sigh out of your mouth. Let it be cleansing. And now let's continue deepening the breath. Begin to breathe in and out through your nose, Ujjayi Pranayama. As you continue settling into your sensations, settling into your body, slowing the thoughts, and begin to visualize an inner sanctuary for yourself somewhere that you feel safe, warm, cozy, somewhere that you can be totally yourself and where you're able to relax and to drop. So this could be a space that is real or imagined. It could be like the feeling that you get from being with a really close friend or from physical touch, maybe from your yoga practice itself. And then start to feel that sensation right in the core of your body, in the core of your belly. And as you breathe, allow that sensation of warmth, of coziness, of rest, of peace to begin radiating through your full body until eventually it touches every fiber. And let's stay and fan this flame of your inner sanctuary for just a few more rounds of breath. Deeply, fully, in through the nose and out through the nose. As we begin to move, 
See if you can move from this space of internal okayness, internal peace. Blink your eyes open. If you're sitting on a block, you can release it. Just place it off to the side at the top of your mat. And let's find our way up to a tabletop, hands and knees. Try to root down into all four corners of your palms. Spread your fingers away from the center of your hands and then root each finger pad individually. Press the index finger mounds down to the earth and then begin to revolve so that your biceps spin forward and your triceps wrap back. It's like you're plugging yourself deeply into the earth. Keep the left palm rooted. As you inhale, we'll stretch the right arm up to the sky, opening up the chest. Take a couple of circles through the right wrist. Go counterclockwise and clockwise. One more inhale, peel your heart open. And then as you exhale, thread the needle. Send the right arm through and down underneath the left. You can drop your shoulder th to the mat and then reach your head forward as far as it will go. From here, you can stay with the left palm down to the mat to create more of a twist in the middle back, or you can reach forward through the left arm. If you take this variation, see how much you can settle into the compression in the front of your right shoulder. Relax the hips so that they float effortlessly over the knees. Check for tension in the soles of your feet, in your toes. And then draw the left palm back beneath your shoulder. If it's not, press into it. Breathe in to stretch right fingertips up to the sky and then breathe out to plug your right hand into the earth. Take an inhale, stretch your left fingertips up to the sky. Take a couple of wrist circles in each direction. As you circle the wrist, continue opening the heart, swiveling your torso toward the left side of the mat. One more breath in, stretch your fingertips to the clouds, and then exhale, thread the needle. Slide the left arm through and down, root your shoulder, then root the side of your cheek. Stay with the right palm rooted, twisting it out, or you can reach forward and start to soften. Check in with your breath. Always coming back to the deep, full inhales and the full exhales. And see if you can even the breath so that the breath in and the breath out has the same quality of sound and the same duration. Slide the right palm beneath your shoulder, press into it. Breathe in, left fingertips stretch up to the sky and breathe out, come back to tabletop. As you inhale, soften the low belly, lift the tailbone, spread the sitting bones. Then pull your hands back toward the fronts of your thighs as you begin to arc your heart forward and lift your gaze toward the sky. Deeply contract your back body. As you exhale, round in. Hollow first the low belly, then the middle belly. Draw your ribs to close and stretch the front of your heart through the back of your heart up toward the sky. Drop your head. Again, inhale for cow. The whole front body is opening and expanding. The back body is contracting to create this space. And then as you exhale, reverse that. Curl in through the front body to open up the back body. Stretch between all of your vertebrae. One more time, inhale to cow. Lift your heart, lift your gaze. And exhale, curl in cat. Come back to a neutral spine, plant your palms, tuck your toes, and then hover your knees just like an inch or so away from the mat. Press energetically down into both palms and let the press be even through both of your hands. Then as you inhale, keep the left palm rooted. We'll stretch the right fingertips all the way up to the sky and swivel so that your knees point to the left side of your mat. As you exhale, cross the right arm through so that it comes under the left side of your body. Breathe in to reach up and breathe out to take this little crunch. Right hand comes down to the left side body. One more time, inhale, stretch up high and exhale, re-anchor the right palm down to the mat. The knees are still floating. Breathe in, 
Stay for your exhale, claw the mat. Inhale, swivel open to the side, left fingertips lift. And as you exhale, curl in. Left hand comes through to the right side body. Inhale, open up, squeeze your shoulder blades together, lift your gaze, and exhale, curl. One more time, breathe in, look up, and exhale, left palm down to the mat. Take an inhale with the knees hovering, floating tabletop. Exhale, press the palms down and forward. Lift your hips high to the sky, downward facing dog. Press into both palms, press into both feet. Bend the left knee as you reach your right heel toward the mat. And then switch, right knee bends toward your chest, left heel pulls down toward the earth. Feel elongation through your full spine. The tip of your tailbone stretches toward the sky and the crown of your head is reaching down and forward toward your thumbs. And notice what happens when you spread your fingers and your toes even wider. Feel the sensitivity through the bottoms of your feet and the bottoms of your hands. And feel how you can really grip and anchor into your foundation here. As you inhale, look forward to the top of your mat. As you exhale, take little baby steps all the way forward, bringing the toes behind the wrists. Feet are hips distance apart and fold in. Root your right palm down to the mat, bend your right knee and then twist open, left fingertips reach toward the sky. Breathe into the outer line of the left leg and then let your gaze follow the left thumbnail. One more breath. On your exhale, switch, left palm down to the earth, right fingertips up toward the sky, left knee can bend. Peel your heart open and breathe into outer right hip, through the IT band, the outside of the shin and down into the foot. On an exhale, soften back forward. Root your fingertips. Take an inhale to ripple through your spine, finding a halfway lift. And then as you exhale, just bow back in. The knees can be micro bent or even more bent. As you inhale, pull up through the fronts of your thighs, stretch your tailbone back, reach the crown of your head forward, and exhale, fold in. Two more times here, moving with the breath. Inhale, extend. Exhale, fold. Inhale. And exhale. Walk your feet together to touch, and we'll roll up to stand one vertebra at a time. Stack your spine. Let your torso continue to be heavy as you rise up. Finally, the head and the gaze will rise. Take an inhale. Fingertips stretch out to the sides and then all the way up overhead. As you exhale, palms meet at heart center. Close your eyes. Take a pause. Feel your body. Return to your inner sanctuary. Try to create a really specific visualization for yourself. And then let yourself become immersed in all of the feelings that come from this inner sanctuary. Blink your eyes open or keep them closed if you like. As you inhale, we'll reach for the sky. As you exhale, dive down, forward fold. Inhale to a halfway lift, stretch out. Exhale, plant your palms, step back, high plank. Take a breath here, pause, shoulders stack over the wrists, activate the core, firm your thighs. Then breathe in to shift the shoulders in front of the wrists. Exhale, we lower knees, chest and chin to the mat, elbows hug in tight to the ribs. Untuck your toes. Ripple through to a cobra. Take an inhale, toenails plug down. As you exhale, tuck your toes, press into the palms, lift the hips high, downward facing dog. Smooth and steady. Inhale through your nose. Exhale through your nose. Inhale. Exhale. 
Inhale, look forward, lift your heels, bend your knees deeply, and then step or float to the top of your mat, finding a fold. Big toe mounds together. Take a breath in, halfway lift, and breathe out, fold. Inhale, root your feet, rise up to stand, fingertips high. Exhale, palms meet at heart center. And let's go again. Inhale, reach for the sky. Take a little back bend here if it feels okay. And exhale, dive in, forward fold. Halfway lift, elongate, stretch out. Exhale, palms plant, step the feet back. Breathe in to shift forward. Exhale, knees, chest and chin come down. Untuck your toes, breathe in, ripple through. Cobra, stretch your heart. Breathe out, tuck your toes, press into your palms, bend your knees and lift the hips, high downward facing dog. Two rounds of breath here, inhale. Exhale. Feel the breath running up your spine as you inhale. As you exhale, press down more firmly into the space between thumbs and index fingers. Breathe in, lift your heels, bend your knees. Exhale, float to the top of your mat and find a fold. Take an inhale, halfway lift the spine. Exhale, fold in. Inhale, root your feet, rise high, lift your gaze toward your thumbs. Exhale, palms to heart center. One more round like this. Inhale, reach for the sky. Gaze goes back. Exhale, dive down, forward fold. Inhale, lift the thighs, spread your vertebrae. Exhale, palms plant, step back plank. As you inhale, shift forward. Exhale, lower knees, chest and chin. This time, let's pause and breathe here for a couple of rounds. If your heart is down to the mat, you can play with curling the heels in towards your sitting bones. Let the heart melt. Good, untuck your toes. Press forward, cobra, breathe and lift the heart. And exhale, tuck the toes. Let's press back, downward facing dog. Big inhalation. And a sweet exhale through your nose. One more breath, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, look forward. Exhale, step or float to the top of the mat. Inhale, halfway lift. And exhale, fold. Root your feet, press down. Rise up to stand, lift the gaze. Exhale, palms together at heart center. Breathe in. And breathe out. Inhale. Lift up, look up, lengthen your spine. Exhale, dive down, forward fold. As you inhale, stretch your left toes long and back behind you, standing L, root your fingertips. As you exhale, right knee bends deeply, left toes to the back of the mat, drop your left knee. Breathe in, just lift your heart high, and then breathe out, plant your palms, tuck your left toes, glide back to three-legged down dog, the right leg goes high. Stack the hip and bend the knee, right hip over the left. You can make circles through the ankle, maybe the knee and the hip, or all three. Go in both directions and continue to press into the left toes. Inhale, right leg lifts up toward the sky, three-legged down dog, square your hips. As you exhale, step the right foot forward to the top of your mat. Breathe in, rise, high crescent lunge. Fingertips float toward the sky. Square your hips, contract your core, sink into the foundation of your feet and your legs, and then draw the shoulder blades down your back. Inhale. As you exhale, grab for the left arm, spin it so that your pinky finger points forward. Then bend your elbow and slide the fingertips down your back. Then take the left arm, circle it around and bring the top of your hand to the middle back. Maybe bringing the hands to interlace on top of the middle back between your shoulder blades. Wherever you are, press the back of your head into the right forearm. Breathe through your torso. Breathe through the shoulders. Find your opening. 
Take a breath in. As you exhale, we'll launch forward to warrior three. Option to keep the hands as they are, opening the shoulders, or you can bring palms to prayer or reach forward. Press all four corners of right foot to the mat, especially the big toe mound. Spin your left toenails to point straight down and then breathe and elongate in two directions, evenly forward and back. One more inhale. As you exhale, we'll rise all the way up to stand. You can undo the grip of your hands and bring your left knee forward up towards your chest. One-legged Tadasana, palms to prayer. Inhale here, flex your foot. As you exhale, hook left ankle outside of the right thigh. Soften your gaze and sink, standing pigeon. We'll take three full rounds of breath. Inhale. Exhale, spread the breath through your hips, allowing yourself to sink deeper. Inhale, stretch your heart towards your thumbs. Exhale, tailbone like an anchor pulls you toward the earth. One more round. Breathe in, press into the right foot. Left knee lifts, fingertips rise. As you breathe out, cross the left foot back behind the right. We'll step off of the mat. You can roll to the outer edge of the left foot and take a hold of the left wrist with the right fingertips overhead. Breathe in to lengthen and then breathe out. Create a side body stretch, arcing up and over. Draw the left shoulder down your back and lift your gaze toward the sky. One more inhale, reach. As you exhale, we'll step back to a steady stance, feet together at the top of your mat and bring your palms to prayer. Inhale, circle the fingertips wide, look up. Exhale, swan dive, forward fold. Inhale, root your fingertips, right toes stretch to the back of your mat, standing L. And then as you exhale, right toes step back behind you, drop the knee. Breathe in, lift your heart. Breathe out, plant your palms. Back toes are tucked, the knee lifts, shift your hips back. Plant into the palms, drive them down firmly. Float the left foot all the way up and back. Three-legged down dog. Then stack the hip, bend the knee. Take a couple of rotations through the ankle, the knee, the hip. Open everything up. Then breathe in, lift the left leg high, square your hips. As you exhale, as softly, deliberately, intentionally as possible, step the left foot forward to your thumb. Both big toe mounds anchor to the earth. Breathe in, press up, high crescent lunge, fingertips float. As you exhale, just settle down. Close your ribs, feel your core working, feel your feet root. Broaden your shoulder blades. So spin the pinkies forward to the top of your space and then bend the left elbow and draw the palm down your back. Take the right arm on a big circle and bring the top of the hand to your back. Maybe interlacing the fingers or hooking the fingers or maybe they don't touch, that's okay. Just stay where you are. Lift up from your very low belly, from the pelvic floor all the way to your heart. Take an inhale. As you exhale, launch forward. Warrior three. The palms can stay where they are or take any other arm variation that works for you today. Press straight down from the core of your pelvis through your supporting leg into the earth like a solid tree trunk and then grow in every direction. Inhale. Exhale, rise to stand. You can release the hands. Bring them to prayer at heart center as right knee drives toward your chest, one-legged Tadasana. Inhale here. And exhale, hook the right ankle outside the left thigh. Sit your hips low and back behind you, standing pigeon. If it feels okay here, you could even close the eyes to challenge the balance and to really try to keep you internally rooted anchored in all your sensations and in the breath. One more inhale, one more exhale. Good, press down, rise back up to stand, reach your arms for the sky, knee to the chest, 
and then exhale, slide the right foot off your mat behind the left. You can roll to the outer edge of the foot, grab for the right wrist with the left hand, lift up and out of your side bodies and then create a stretch, a big rainbow arc through the right side body. Try to feel the breath moving between your ribs, expanding, opening, and clearing tension. One more inhale. As you exhale, we'll rise all the way back up to stand. Right foot steps down beside the left and bring your palms to prayer. Close your eyes. Pause and reconnect. Notice what you're feeling. Notice your heart beating. Come back to your inner sense of okayness. Blink your eyes open. Take an inhale, stretch your arms wide, look up. As you exhale, dive down, forward fold. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale, plant your palms. You can step or float back. We'll lower chaturanga. Elbows hug the ribs, come down halfway, untuck your toes. Inhale, upward facing dog. Exhale, downward facing dog. Belly button hugs the spine as the hips glide high. On your next inhale, reach your right leg for the sky, three-legged down dog. As you exhale, right shin comes forward to the top of your mat, align for half pigeon, anywhere between 45 to 90 degrees, and then crawl the left toes back behind you. Before we fold forward, let's sit upright for a couple of breaths. Fingertips might stay down in front of your shin. You can drag them back beside the hips. Maybe they come to your hips. And then feel as though you're pulling your knees a little bit together to square, lift up through the pelvic floor to keep length in the spine. If the hips are popping up away from the mat significantly, you can slide a block under the front hip, the right hip here. Let's take one more inhale, lift your heart, and exhale, fold sweetly forward, surrender. Forearms can come down. Maybe the back toes crawl even farther, be further behind you. Relax your forehead to a block, to your thumbs, to the mats, whatever's available. And then send the breath to what you feel. Try to breathe through the sensations. Imagine your breath like steam and that's being infused through your pores into any tight spaces, creating softening and warmth. Start to come out, lift your head, press into your hands, walk the palms back to the front of your shin, tuck your toes behind you, lift your knee. From here, we'll press down and lift back into three-legged down dog. So the right leg goes high to the sky, inhale. As you exhale, option one is to stack the hip, bend the knee, just play here, or maybe you flip all the way to wild thing, right toes come down behind you. You can bend your knees deeply and then lift your right arm all the way up toward the sky. Press into the foundation of left hand and your two feet. Feel your pelvic floor lift and feel expansion in the front body. One more breath. As you exhale, use your core. We'll all find our way back to a downward facing dog. Both feet roots. Take an inhale, left leg reaches high, three-legged down dog. As you exhale, come forward, left shin to the top of the mat, align, and then slide your right toes behind you. This side might feel really different, that's okay. Let it be different. So. That might mean that your shin is at a totally different angle than it was on the first side. Find an upright position where you're feeling sensation, but where you're still able to breathe, where it's manageable. The back toes can come untucked as you're ready, but then keep pulling the inner thighs together, magnetized. 
lift your heart on a breath in. And on a breath out, fold forward. Fingertips crawl up toward the top of your mat. Check in with the face. Check in with the jaw, the mouth, the tongue. Any of these little, they're like little hidden storage closets of tension that we have to constantly go through and clear out, constantly remind ourselves to relax, the shoulders, the neck. Three more rounds, let them be the deepest breaths of your day so far. Press down, walk the hands back in, tuck your toes behind you, and then shoot your left leg all the way up and back, three-legged down dog. Inhale here, exhale, either stack the hip, bend the knee, stay here, or pivot all the way to a wild thing. Left toes go down and back behind you, the knees can bend. Then, keeping the right shoulder tucked underneath you for support, Stretch yourself open to wild thing. Take fluid, expansive breaths. Plug your toes into the earth. Lift your hips just a little higher. One more inhale. And exhale. Everyone meets back in downward facing dog. Inhale here through your nose. Exhale, big sigh. Drop your knees to the mat. Let's come forward to the top of the mat and we'll take Supta Virasana. So the knees can come together. The heels will go wide to the outer edges of your hips and then you can kind of snuggle your sitting bones down into that space there. If this is uncomfortable on your knees, you can try widening the knees or you can take saddle where the knees are wide and the toes are together more like a child's pose in the legs. From here, you might stay here if you're feeling a lot of sensation. Maybe start to walk the hands back. You can lower to the elbows and maybe all the way down to lie on your back. As you go in deeper, you may need to lift the pelvis a bit, shift the hips more forward, and then you can sink back. Close your eyes wherever you are and see how much you can relax. How much can you let go even in the intensity that you're feeling. So there's this balance. There's a surrender into the effort. And we'll stay for two more breaths here, fully in through the nose, fully out through the nose. Press your hands down to the earth. Wherever you are, we'll slowly rise up and out, coming back to a seat at the top of the mat and then shift to, so that you come to your sitting bones. The legs will go forward. Let's just shake it out. You can wiggle, bend the knees, whatever you need. And then walk your sitting bones back. Take a breath in to lengthen your spine. And as you breathe out, fold forward, Paschimottanasana. The knees can be bent so that we can prioritize lengthening the spine. So that could look like this. And maybe you're grabbing for the ankles, the shins, the toes. You can also slide blocks under the knees for more support. Press your heels down and continually pull all 10 of your toes back toward your shins, even the pinky toes. How much can you feel 
even through these little spaces in our body that we don't often stop to feel, the pinky toes even. Good, make your way back up. And then we'll come to lie on our backs, however you want to get there. Hug your knees into your chest, wrap your hands around your shins. And let's take a couple of circles on the low back, the sacrum, just release. Whatever feels good to you. And then squeeze yourself in nice and tight. Wrap the forearms around the shins or maybe reach for the outer edges of the opposite foot with your hands and pull. Pull in nice and tight, inhale here. Exhale, Shavasana. Drop the toes to the corners of the mat. Let them fall open. Palms will face up and surrender. Everything lets go. Call back to the top of your mind again, your inner sanctuary. This space that you've visualized for yourself that you've created and that you can always access in moments of anxiety, overwhelm, chaos, or stress. So let yourself find a deep rest in this sanctuary and I'll wake you up in just a little bit. Stay longer and keep resting if that's what your body needs. If and when you're feeling ready to continue with the day, start to breathe deeper. Mm, begin to flicker the fingers and the toes with little movements. And then stretch yourself out. Really long, good morning stretch, arms back, toes forward, breathe in. And breathe out, just drop it all one more time. Then draw the knees in, roll to fetal pose. Use your top hand to press up to a seat. You can find Sukhasana, you can come back up to the knees, Virasana, where maybe you began, whatever's feeling comfortable for you. And let's take the hands to the heart. So bring the, the palm of your hand to your heart and then stack the other hand on top. Keep the eyes closed or a soft gaze. And breathe into all of the inner work that you've done in this practice. Recognize the power that you have to create this peace, this sanctuary from inside of yourself rather than drawing on external sources. 
and then recognize the ability to find calm in any storm, to return to your inner sense of okayness, Start to draw the palms together. Lift your heart a little bit toward your brain and then tuck your chin slightly toward your chest. Bow the head down. Namaste. Thank you so much for sharing your practice with me today and for carving out some time and space for yourself to take care of yourself, to nourish this inner sanctuary and this space of okayness. I hope that you enjoyed this class. I hope you're doing really well. If you're not already, you can subscribe down below to my channel. That really supports me. And I upload new videos every Monday and every Friday. Have a really lovely rest of your day, and I'll see you soon with another practice. Bye.